Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be doing a video on all my merchandise and collectibles that I've collected from over the years on Aer Lingus. So Aer Lingus is my favourite airline because considering that I'm Irish it kind of feels like I'm at home every time that I fly them and uh, I kind of feel like I'm flying with people that I know nearly because over that kind of short time period like of two hours when you're flying to what Portugal or Spain somewhere like that you usually kind of feel like you know them because they walk up and down the aisles and uh, the flight attendants and all of the pilots and all that I get to meet them at the end of the flight sometimes and all that so it, it it's very fun flying Aer Lingus because I kind of feel like I'm at home I know in um, a video that I hope to do soon uh, Aer Lingus was rated one of the worst airlines on the planet. I think it came like 24th or 34th or something like that. I can't really remember, but um, I kind of felt like that was a bit of a letdown for me because, like, they're not bad, really, at all. Sometimes it can happen that they can be a little bit dodgy with the case of the baggage loss or when you sit down and you're not sitting with your family. This has happened to me uh, before, but of course, everything usually turns out great. So they always try their best to get your bags if they ever get lost, or they always try to make you so happy. So anyway, let me just... Uh, get dive right into this video so i'm just gonna review all of it basically uh there is a lot of it and some strange things that i own that uh, i got from Aer Lingus. but the first thing here is something that i got when i was probably about five uh the average mind of a five-year-old is when they look at the in-flight magazine or the duty-free magazine on board uh an airline and they see a merchandise teddy they're usually just like oh yeah i have to have this one because it's like squishy and fluffy and uh kind of really soft um so yes obviously you probably do know that this is quite old because it's got the old livery logo uh so that's the old livery logo there that's the new livery logo so yeah got this when i was five um i think my parents bought it for me after they came home from a flight that they had, I can't remember where it was or something like that. Could have been on holidays or something like that. So, yeah, let's move on. Moving on here is probably the most relevant one or the most recent one that I uh, got a hold of. It's a uh, one, of, one of the uh, pilots, I believe, gave this to me. Uh, after uh, after a flight, I went to visit them in the cockpit and I asked them would I be able to take home a safety card for just to collect them because this is the only safety card that I actually have. I did have a one from Thompson when they used to operate, but then they kind of merged with TUI Fly, I believe, and made TUI, so... Uh, yeah, that probably would be quite a collector's item, but I lost it. But, um, of course, uh, don't worry, I did not steal this. If any Aer Lingus executives or, uh, bosses or, you know, uh, workers see this, don't worry, I did not steal this because stealing on, uh, aircraft, uh, yeah, stealing safety cards from the aircraft is not allowed. Please do not remove from aircraft. Yeah, don't steal safety cards unless you get permission to be allowed. Take one home with you. So yeah, this is a really nice layout of a safety card. Kind of like that. All that there. I always read the safety card. Uh, yeah. Issue 2, January 2019, A3. I love the way that they kind of they didn't space it out. They didn't like Airbus 320. 
Yeah, it says it here, but then they just like block out that and just like put in 320. Yeah, so yeah, that's minor. Uh, minor or no detail. That uh, mi minor or no minor or no detail that that doesn't have an A3 an A before the 320. So I'm just going to put that back there. This one was my first Aer Lingus actual collectible thing that I got. Slightly decolored now. It's a Lego or what would you call it? Kind of like brickwork uh, model of an Aer Lingus A320. Very nice, I have to say. Yeah, the engines are quite flimsy. They do come off quite a lot. But yeah, then again, it is what Lego... Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to leave that over there and I'll fix that later. Um, so, yeah, anyway, let's move on. Moving on here, we have a Aer Lingus A320 in the old livery. Same like that one there. Uh, so, yeah, th this, this one I got on board a flight that I was going to Portugal on. I believe that was the same flight that, uh, or that was actually, this was the same flight that Aer Lingus accidentally lost our bags and also mixed up the fact that we weren't, si I wasn't sitting beside any family member. Um, but I would like to give a shout out to one person that was on board that flight that just stood out from really any other person he was sitting beside me and I felt kind of scared because I wasn't beside my family or anything uh, on board a full flight and it was so full that some of the jump seats had to be used for passengers but I was sitting beside this guy and he bought me a chocolate bar and a uh, glass or a bottle of water while I was on board I was six years old so I was scared then he kind of lightened it up and I was kind of chatting to him and all that so I was really happy on that one so yeah let's move on moving on here I actually didn't get this on a flight Um, somebody bought this for me I can't remember who bought it for me Um, but yeah so this this is the new livery Aer Lingus A320 200, yeah. Uh, minor, no detail that that's there. The 200 part, it's still an A320. But yeah, still, like, you can put that in. It looks different to the A320. That's allowed. Um, So yeah, it's in the new livery. Um, so yeah, I'm not really reviewing models here properly, am I? Um, but like, anyway, it's still a really nice model that, uh, I got to have because, um, uh, just, I got this one. I wasn't going anywhere in particular, I don't think. So, yeah, I just got this. So, let's move on. Moving on here, we have a Aer Lingus A320. And uh, this is in the rugby livery. Um, I believe this is like hashtag green spirit or something like that. Uh, it's like the Irish rugby team uh, livery. Uh, so the stand's a bit flimsy and the engine broke. Uh, but I think this is still probably the nicest livery that you can ever see in a plane. Seeing this in real life is so nice because you can just kind of like know that that's your model that you own at home. Uh, I'm going to leave it off the stand for now. But anyway, yeah, really nice model this one is. Next up here we have a Aer Lingus Ford Transit van. Uh, I see these a lot at Dublin Airport. It's like the Oxford models ones. Um... I got this on board, or I was actually in the airport terminal, and I thought that it would be kind of cool if I got that. Uh, it actually has a registration. Um, yeah, it actually, it, everything, he, like, it's so detailed. Uh, I'm not revealing that registration, I'm afraid, though, because uh, I would be afraid that 
there actually may be a van with that registration and uh, I don't kind of want I don't want to get some sort of notice that I have been uh, violating some sort of law enforcement thing but anyway yeah really nice model that one is next up here we have a book it is a Erlingus doesn't time fly uh, this is a really detailed book about the history of Aer Lingus. Um, um, so, yeah, uh, I bought this from a library, I believe. So, so yeah, so there's like loads of photos and all. Um, yeah, some of this I will have to blur out, though, because of different kind of reasons so yeah very nice uh pictures and all in this so yeah it looks like we have a nice 707 there uh the what is that there i think that's a 747 no is it could be. I'm not sure. Has a nose open, so I assume it is. So, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Let's move on on that one. So, this one is a Aer Lingus uh, toy kind of pullback thing. Um, This is actually my brother's, but uh, I used to have one of these in the old livery when I was younger, but I got yeah yeah obviously the batteries are going out in that one there yeah alright <laughs> okay moving on here we have um, an Aer Lingus or JH5 Avro from Gemini Jets uh, yeah so I'm not going to go into detail really on this one actually just because I've got like loads of I've I've you've got loads of information about these already through airport updates. Also moving on here we have an Aer Lingus A330 300 um from Phoenix. Uh so yeah, really nice model these two are. So uh you may look down onto the uh destruction that I have caused on the uh, floor of my room through looking at Aer Lingus and all of that so yeah um, uh, thank you all very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video bye